So for the biggest update ever, talents are the thing that I am most excited about for sure. We always want to introduce new ways to let players customize their character and play you know, the, the comic book characters the way they always wanted to play them. For me as a designer, especially someone who works on Heroes, it meant that we got to completely revamp a lot of characters. It gave us finally the time and the excuse we needed to go in and touch characters that we know have been languishing for a while and fans have really been wanting some big changes to, and now we got to do that. We're basically revising every hero in the game to have way more choice, so it'll be like a whole new video game. I'm a min-maxer, I like to get the most out of my characters, and essentially, I get to do that for 50 characters. I think the thing that I'm most pumped for is the overhaul to some of the story zones. To see how far some of the early chapters have come is a really great addition to the game. And we have lots of new surprises and we have really cool mission structure now. As a character artist, my job is to just make all the characters look as distinct as possible in the game so that you have a nice silhouette and uh, you can tell who is who. And I think that this update will definitely bring us to that next level. Plus you have visual updates that come with that, which is you have a lot of new animations, you have a lot of new effects. There's a lot of changes that we've made to the game. I think the removal of power points and adding in talents and traits for the heroes is one of the coolest things that we're doing right now. We've basically reformed the specialization powers to be the talent system. So the designers have done a ton of work taking the uh, talent system and integrating it with the active powers that the heroes have. Talents are a set of three choices that your hero gets to make. There are 15 talent sets in total, five sets of three. Uh, and you unlock them from levels 30 to 60. And you get to pick one, and it's going to change your kit in some either subtle way or a very violent and amazing way. To the extent of, oh yeah, this power is just completely different now, and you can uh, ride on Groot, for example. It, there's no permanence. That's the nice thing about the talent system, too, is we're not forcing you into like a power point where you're gonna have to respec or anything like that. Now you're going to be able to go in, and if you feel like you made a mistake, okay, switch a talent. That's it. You have the freedom to try it, with no penalties. You know, they want to play the comic version, the movie version, or maybe something that we kind of created for them. And talents let people do that in a whole new way. You get to re-experience every single character over again in this biggest update ever. I'm just super pleased with all the characters are turning out. The ones who've changed the most that I think will be very interesting are Loki and Punisher. It's the closest we have to a shooter character in a, an RPG. I think all the Avengers are probably my favorites. I'd probably go with Thor. And more than ever, he feels like you're, you're a god. Looking at Rogue, she's fantastic. She's got all of her stolen powers in a library now. Once you steal a power, you don't have to forget it. It's always there, even after you prestige. So that allows Rogue to have over 140 powers available to her at any time. Nova, uh, Rocket Raccoon got really huge updates, and actually Loki is a character that I never really touched. He's one of our very first villains we ever put in the game. And he had one of the most substantial reworks out of anyone. And I think he really fulfills the fantasy of Loki much more than he ever used to. The builds you used to have are probably still intact, but the way you play them are probably different. So pick up heroes you used to play and are old hat to you, they're definitely new now. If there are any heroes you didn't play or heroes you avoided for some reason or another, go try them out. This next update is literally the one that I always envisioned our game should have been. I don't know that it's ever gonna feel complete. One of our strengths here at Gazillion is continuing to iterate and continuing to add. I feel really excited and I know the team will be <laughs> relieved to have this out and we'll be very excited to see what players think about it. I know change is scary. Nobody likes a lot of big change, but trust us, we're making the game better. We're making the best version of Marvel Heroes we've ever had. Once it's out there in the wild, we'll really get to see if people connect with what we did, and I'm pretty confident they will. You play with powers you cannot possibly comprehend. Numbers mean nothing to a master of magic.